Wait, oh, wrong furniture. Right. This is a video. I've done three, four, maybe six times, something like that. Something stupid. Maximum of six times, anyway. And um, I felt quite nasty in all of them, but I'm not going to be nasty. I've just got to understand for myself. I'm not being nasty. I'm just doing what I think personally. Okay. So if you think it's horrible, and I'm sorry to say that. Okay. Basically, my thing is bug out locations. Are they good or are they bad? To me personally, I personally think they're bad. Especially, as you know, I'm a long wolf, especially for me. But even for a great, let's say three or four people, to me personally, it's a bad idea. To me, if you're going to have a bug out location, you would have to have at least 20 or 30 people to keep that bug out location. But the problem is with a bug out location, there's two and a half, 250, yeah, 250,000 people on average here in Plymouth. So if we all did what everybody says, oh, I'm just going to run, away. I'm just going to move, I'm just going to leave. You're not going to know if someone's in, you're going to bump into people. Even in your bug out locations, people's going to go there because that could be their bug out location but you don't know that what are you going to do if that's the case how are you going to cope and it's not just that though if you do go to your bug out location do you know where two or three water sources are do you know where you can get food in different places it's just a lot of crazy art things it's a lot of things what to me personally is stressful and stress is to me personally not good and that's when you get arguments that's when you get frictions and is it worth it no not really no personally you can move place to place what well, to me personally would be more safer instead of being in one spot because then if you're in one spot people can watch you people can watch you for days see you at your weakest point and then they can go in and attack you or go in and take your food or take your water or anything like that but then you've got people upstream they could build a dam what makes your water non-existent if that makes any sense or you can have this where you know there's food some people can come in and they could take it because that's it's surrounding their bug out location it's just small things like that you cannot control Everybody, single person, about the bug locations. In my opinion, you can't control your own bug up location because anybody can be there before you even get there. Say, for example, it takes you three days to get there, but it could take a group of people a day or two to get there. So that's where it kind of dicks against you. And the same thing do you know what there? Do you know what trees where? Do you know where you can get? I don't know, say, but in blackberries, for example, because they're coming up in season. Can you, do you know where in your location you can get them? In your location, it's a place where you know there is everything what you need, like water, veg. Because if you plant, plant a garden, yeah, that garden could be attacked by anybody at any moment because you're not going to protect it all the time. It's just small things. It's like silly little things. It's like, no one can understand, no one can go and, I don't know, you've got a shed, say, for example, and you put all your food in that shed. People can watch you, they can watch, they can watch, then they can go in under the under sight of darkness. One person can go in there, empty your shed, or take someone out of it, you're not even going to notice. You can get two people doing exactly the same thing, you're not going to notice. You will always, if people can always see you in one spot, they're always going to take advantage from that one person. Oh, sorry, not that one person, but that group. One person can go along, go in, unannounced, not being seen, taking that stuff. You can't control everything. You cannot control people. You cannot control anything. You could have this bug out location. You could have two, three bug out locations, but people could be in any one of them because that's what people do. 
they see the best thing for themselves. They don't see what's best for someone else. They don't go, oh, I can't do that. That's air grade. Pay too. That's air grade. Or, oh, I can't do that because that's theirs. Oh, we can't stop this water because basically there's people downstream need it as well. They don't do that. People are selfish. The human waste is selfish. So, yeah, that's my opinion on bug up locations. You can never control it. You're never going to get control of that bug up locations because people are going to control it further upstream or further downstream or in the same area you where you think you can get food. So, quite up to do with you what you do. I'm not saying that is a good idea. I'm not saying that you should do it. I'm not saying it's a bad idea. I'm just saying that you really need to sit down and think about the bug up locations. As I said, as a lone wolf, I'm not having a bug-up location. I agree with, I believe in moving, 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 moving. I don't believe in staying in one spot more than two nights. Because then you're getting settled. You're getting, you'll get start getting watched. Unless you're going to watch a group of people, you're scouting out a group of people and you can see where they're doing things. And yeah. But then again, they can send people into your bug-up relation by saying, Oh, uh, 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 I haven't got nothing. Oh, I need this or I need that. So then you help that person, but they're spying on you and they're laying information back to that back to their team of bug out look at people. And then that team can come in and take over your bug out location. So yeah, that's just my opinion. I'm hoping this makes sense. I'm hoping everybody can understand it. I do apologize if it sounds really nasty and horrible, but that's just my opinion. Thank you very much for watching. <laughs> do apologize this video is a bit longer than what it should be and um thank you for the thank you for basically standing with us standing by with us and we'll catch you in the next one bye bye